What's up fellow YouTube artists and aspiring artists, it's Mike here with Aristotle Custom Spray Paint Art. Like I'm sure many of you are experiencing, it is snowy and cold and winter is in full effect. Winter can suck, but it can also be beautiful. So today we're going to paint a winter wonderland scene with spray paint. So let's jump straight in to today's spray paint art tutorial. For today's tutorial, we'll be using Montana Gold spray paint and a little bit of Rust-Oleum Quick Color. There's the color selection for today's painting, and we are all set to go. We're going to go in and start by fading out some dark blue into two lighter shades of blue here, just giving a nice effect uh, to a kind of winter wonderland sky. It's going to be the background for our scene. After that, we're going to come in with some mountains and trees and stuff. But for now, we're just worrying about that sky. So in here with some light baby blue, I'm using a really thin tip spray nozzle here. Uh, it's allowing me to just keep the overspray pretty minimal across the board. And now I'm coming in with some gray Montana gold and a little foam brush. You pick these up at the dollar store quite easily and cost effectively. Uh, from here, I'm just painting in. Uh, gray over top here of my sky background uh, that's going to be way off in the distance in the end but here we're just going to work in the general idea of this uh, we're not worried about any blue or white underneath that might be blending in fact that's probably good coming in with a nice little light source here between our mountains uh, giving that kind of nice bright effect and we're just going to work in uh, some lighter shades here, a few streaks of quick color, and just lighten up one side of that mountain there uh, and streak across here for some foggy horizon effect and just start to touch our sky and make some nice little happy clouds. Work this out however uh, you like. I use a little cloud stencil here. I would have probably misted those out a little bit more uh, had I been paying more attention to that. Uh, from here, we just come across with some more Rust-Oleum Quick Color, and then we're spraying some green off to the side. You're gonna get a glimpse at what I'm using shortly, but it's a little artist sea sponge. I pick these up at Michael's. Sometimes they're available at the dollar store as well, so they don't have to be super expensive. Uh, from here, I'm just getting an idea of what I want to do. I started with a nice bright green tree. Uh, I abandoned that pretty quick, and I realized that the best kind of look for this is a gray, darker black. Uh, kind of effect. So you're going to see the colors change here in the painting quite a bit. All I'm doing is I'm dabbing onto the edge of my sea sponge. I'm kind of bunching it up ever so slightly. Um, within that, I'm just going in and touching, playing with the darkness, playing with the shades, and trying to give the effect that some of these trees are further off in the distance and some are a little bit closer up. So I'm just working in now those very, very far away trees. And we're going to eventually go in here and uh, add some more on the other side. After we get the base for these nice dark trees in the background here, we are going to highlight those with some snow. Uh, that's a really easy effect. Before we do that, we're going to work on our frozen lake. So with this, I'm just going to lay down where I want my horizon line to be for this and come in with some dark blue. Uh, from there, light blue and fading out into some baby blue. Uh, really, if I was going for a proper reflection, I would have done that in the opposite order, so starting with light blue. Nonetheless, we got to keep going, so we're spraying some white over top here. Uh, I'm going to give this, or try to give this, kind of a frozen lake effect. So I figured if I just went in with a plastic bag, I kind of made some crackly lines in it and just texturized this like I would a planet, I might get that effect. In the end, it looks pretty cool. I'd never really played around with trying to make something like that. Uh, nonetheless, we come in with some white on the edge of our uh, artist sea sponge. I'm going to show you up close here what that actually looks like and what I'm doing uh, to go through and touch these little areas. So I'm just dabbing onto a nice little kind of pointed edge there and dabbing along onto the painting and uh, just highlighting, giving the illusion that there's some nice snow. That's got a nice little kind of Bob Ross effect to it uh, and it's nice and simple to lay down so we're not going for perfection we're just kind of tricking the eye to making them think that those are really detailed trees streak across our horizon line here with some quick color that's giving it that kind of misty frozen chilly effect it's very cold where I am so I'm sure a lot of you out there can relate uh, I was inspired by the crappy winter weather 
to start painting some winter stuff. So uh, here I'm just coming in with a straight edge and just kind of playing around, giving it almost like a cracked look. Uh, this gets faded out throughout the painting, so it's not a huge effect in the end, but I think it has a cool little vibe to it. Uh, feel free to play around. I always like tackling new subject matters. Uh, I am getting sick of just always painting, you know, outer space and sci-fi stuff. So uh, really nice to jump in and do a pretty little landscape for you guys today. Hopefully you guys are painting along. If you are, make sure to share your artwork over on the Reddit, subreddit, Aristotle, a uh, little community we are building over there. We're also doing a weekly video where I feature all the submissions from the subreddit. Uh, nice familiar rocky terrain in the front here, guys. Lay down some blue. Uh, we're just kind of sticking with that monochromatic color scheme. Uh, coming in with some white over top here and my plastic bag once again. If you guys want to know more about how to do these techniques in depth, make sure to check out my other tutorial videos. We go over that uh, all over the place in those beginner spray paint art tutorials. Coming in with white on the other side, it can be effective guys to do one side uh, you know, at a time and give a bit of a, a depth of field look, a bit of a differentiator between the two sides. So I come in here, I'm gonna shade those out a little bit and just adding some black in those bottom corners to give it that kind of nice shaded effect. Then we're coming in with a bit more white here. Um, Really guys, this painting took me almost exactly an hour. So uh, as you see, this whole thing's in time-lapse mode. I'm obviously going a lot slower than this. Uh, even still, if I let a lot of this dry, I'd be uh, a lot happier with kind of uh, my process as it went along here. So you're gonna see me lay down quite a bit of black. I'm getting a more foreground tree here, uh, starting to work in uh, the different layers to give this a nice deep look, uh, looking at those mountains in the background. And you're just gonna see me, a lot of this painting, just working in that black, coming in, working in some white, uh, playing with you know how that looks in my eye, trying to get some separation between the different trees, add some depth to it. Uh, and all this is done with a little sea sponge. I also ran out of fresh sea sponge to use. So as you use this stuff, it is going to uh, kind of saturate and become limp and not very useful. Uh, no pun intended there. Uh, with that being said, make sure to pick up some of this stuff. It's super helpful uh, and a really cool alternative to using like brushes and things like that. So uh, sea sponge approved on my end. Definitely recommend to some. Pick it up. You'll see here, yeah, just adding in those white uh, kind of snowy highlights to these trees here. We are gonna work some trees onto the other side as well. Uh, just dabbing our uh, sea sponge into some black paint off to the side. Uh, you don't really see me spraying it on there and dabbing my, uh, my little sponge in. Uh, but you're just gonna work in black and then come in over top with some white. From here, I do a little mist because uh, I wanna add one more tree, but I want there to be a bit of separation between the two. Uh, so with this, I'm just going in kind of playing with a few uh, little pieces of grass, little uh, kind of bushes, if you will. And I'm really just texturizing this mid-ground area. Um, in the end, a lot of this gets painted over, but I think it does add to kind of that detailed look for the front area of this piece. Uh, just kind of going, blending, adding some black, uh, going in with a little brush, adding a few streaks here and there, kind of uh, painting some different textures and nature vibes onto this front area of the painting. As we do kind of near the foreground of this painting, I will note, it looks like I'm completely done with it at one point. Um, and I just wasn't satisfied with the end. So I firmly believe guys, go in and fix your art if you're really dissatisfied. It's definitely not set in stone. Spray paint is easy to fix. Uh, so I do that towards the end of this painting. You'll kind of see what I mean. Uh, here we're just adding in one more tree giving that kind of deeper, closer appearance to it, a little bit bigger in scale and nice and dark. And then we're gonna come in and highlight that um, eventually here too. With this, I'm gonna go in and add some rocky texture, uh, foreground terrain in front of those trees with a little bit of mist separating that layer of trees with this foreground area. And then I go and kind of frost out everything with some snowy looking kind of cool mist that's all rust -Oleum quick color white so make sure you use that uh, really see these trees come to life when you add those snowy highlights to it i'm just again working this i think i spent about 
three minutes on that little tree alone, but in the time-lapse mode, it looks really quick. Just kind of swirling up here in the corner, um, adding a bit of, you know, more kind of chilly fog to the scene. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and sign this one. Uh, definitely a cool look to it. I'm digging what we came up with. Uh, after I go ahead and peel this tape off, there was something not sitting right with me. I let it sit for about five minutes. I came back and I decided I had to add just one more kind of anchor point in the foreground to have my eyes truly pull and give it that depth of field look I'm going for. Um, so I am gonna just go back in, tape all of this down one more time and just do a few touch-ups on what I've created here today. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the video. This is one of my favorite parts. Uh, keeping this painting tape down helps me keep it in place for the videos. Uh, at the end, I just peel this off here and it's a nice, satisfying, typically clean line all the way across the painting uh, and a pretty satisfying little look to the whole piece. Once again, if you guys are watching these videos, that's great. Thanks so much for your support. Uh, these are the most effective if you paint along with them though. So if you guys paint along and come up with a winter wonderland scene of your own, make sure to share it with us over at the Aristotle community on Reddit. The link is below in the description and we'd love to see what kind of progress you're making with your spray paint art. Last little strip of our tape here, revealing a nice little winter wonderland scene. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you think I should have left it like this or if you think the little touch-ups touch -ups and adjustments I made um, made a difference to the positive. So let me know if you preferred it um, with or without this next step that I'm kind of tossing in here. Just adjusting my tape a little bit more, making sure I'm not going to get into any trouble. I decided to shade that one before coming in with some really darker uh, looking foreground terrain. Fresh layer of black, come in, touch the edges with white, and just streak across with your uh, shopping bag or magazine paper. Then we go in, another fresh layer of black, and one more layer of this rocky terrain. Uh, to me, that just added that extra little bit of kind of layered look to it, that extra little bit of depth and in the end, satisfied me. So I'm signing this one for a second time here, guys. Make sure to sign those paintings. Make sure to hit like on the video. Thanks again for watching. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your spray paint art journey. If you have enjoyed these videos, make sure to head on over to Patreon and show some support for the channel. Until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again in a future spray paint art tutorial.